Today felt like spring, again hitting the 70s across the area. We haven't seen that since about the uh, middle of January, and we'll keep the 70s for the next couple of days, but we do have our next storm system that's brewing, and it's going to arrive as we head into midweek. It's going to be a strong cold front that moves in. It's going to bring a line of storms that could potentially pack a heavy punch as we head towards Wednesday. So kind of walking you through the next day or so. Tomorrow, you do want to carry an umbrella. There will be a chance for some showers. Here's 9 o'clock in the morning. Not a whole lot going on, but as we go through the day, scattered showers more so widely scattered showers are possible, which means a lot of dry moments, but there will be some showers out there. So again, don't forget the umbrella. Here's five o'clock again. There's the potential that some of us could have some wet weather for the afternoon drive, and we'll continue with a few spotty showers through the evening. Here's Wednesday morning at 8 a.m. We'll have that south wind keeping our temperatures above the average, but it's also pumping in moisture from the Gulf of Mexico, which is going to help set the stage for the potential for some severe weather as we head on into the afternoon evening time frame. I think it'll be after five o'clock though. We'll have that potential for some severe storms, but we will still watch those uh, pop up showers and storms to kind of erupt through the heat of the day. But notice by eight o'clock you see this line of storms moving in. We'll definitely keep an eye on those as they come in. And then as we head towards midnight, we're expecting most of us to tap into those storms. Again, heavy rain potentially damaging wind is the main threat, but there could be a quick spin up, meaning an isolated tornado tornado. I should say can't be ruled out and there could be a storm or two with some hail. Now, once we work away into early on Thursday, it looks like things start to wind down in terms of a severe threat, but still a few showers could linger into the start of our Thursday here 6 a.m. But these will be much lighter in nature, and then once that moves out, we'll have quiet weather as we end the week, although cooler weather as we end the week. So we are not talking 70s by Friday, and you'll see the forecast in just a bit. As far as how much rain we could pick up with this system through early Thursday, generally you see that bluish coloring, so we're not expecting much more than an inch for most spots, although there could be some isolated spots that get a little bit more. But because of that, our ground is is already saturated from previous rain. So we do have some spots that are dealing with minor flooding right now and that rain that comes in Wednesday could possibly make the situation worse. But at least the river, the Pearl River at uh, Philadelphia is subsiding right now at 13.24 feet. Again, it is going down, which is good. But again, Wednesday the could rise again. We'll see the town Big Bree River at Coffeeville is also at minor flood stage. It is cresting now, but it should subside in the coming days. But again, Wednesday's rain could make that worse. Regardless, though, if you're heading out this evening, no weather woes. We're talking mild temperatures 58 right now. Meridian a little bit warmer in Philadelphia at 64 and for tonight. It'll be a decent night, not terribly cold. Lows in the mid 40s, definitely above the average. We'll keep it dry tonight, but carry the umbrella tomorrow. There could be a few showers. Highs, though, still staying mild near 70, although we'll have more cloud cover. We do have a first alert, uh, Kristen, for our Wednesday because of the potential for severe weather. Again, it'll be later in the evening, uh, possibly as late as midnight, early on Thursday. But then once we get behind that, we're talking cooler weather. But before 5 o'clock, I have that 40% there because not a very wet Wednesday, but the evening things could get a little active.